Okay, so we've got sound effects working. Now let's make a quick little shortcut where we can play voices as well. The process still works the same. We're still going to play it as a sound effect, so all the same logic is going to remain in place. We're just going to add a little shorthand function uh, to automatically assign a different mixer if we choose to play a voice or not. So instead of, say, having Stella say, I'm going to turn off the radio, I'm going to have a new character, which is character me equals create character me and I'm going to have me say please because I'm polite like that please turn off the radio and then we're going to stop the static and then Stella's going to say okay and if we wanted to use what the function we already have in place to play the sound effect for her speaking we could say audio manager dot instance dot play sound effect and play a certain response for Stella. This dialog line is inside of my uh, my unreleased resources for audio voices Stella and I'm gonna make her say oh okay. So we could say audio slash voices slash Stella and then oh and so if I tell her to say oh okay all I need to do is specify the voice mixer in the mixer uh, parameter there and that'll work but let's make it a little quicker for ourselves and a little easier and more straightforward we've got the two functions for play sound effect which takes the file path and the clip now let's do the same thing for voices so public audio source play voice and we're going to start with the we're actually going to copy all of the same values here and but we're going to remove the audio mixer because that's going to be assigned automatically and so all we're going to do here is return play sound effect and we're going to pass in the file path and we're going to pass in the voices mixer and then volume and then pitch and then loop and once more for if we have the clip already public audio source uh, play voice and this will take the audio clip for the clip as well as the rest of the parameters and if we do that we're going to say play sound effect and we're going to play the clip along with the voices mixer along with the volume the pitch and the loop and make sure that we return the audio source from that command and so instead of specifying the voice mixer, all I have to do is specify play voice. And it's automatically going to grab the right mixer. The reason we do this for voice and not sound effect is because a voice is a type of sound effect. And a sound effect can be of any sort of category. So we want to have free reign over what mixer it uses. But for voices, we know they should always play on the voice mixer. And so as we're playing this, we can see that the radio is playing on the SFX mixer, and I say, please turn off the radio. Oh, okay. And then Stella speaks, and it's on the voices mixer. That's all we got for this one. So now we got sound effects and voices working, so let's move on to the next part where we get music working. This is going to be fun. Alright, I'll see you guys there.